Klinefelter syndrome is the topic for this video. And the hallmark of Klinefelter syndrome is the XXY karyotype finding. These individuals are phenotypically male, but they have very distinct physical characteristics. Some of those characteristics are as follows. They tend to be quite tall. They have long arms and legs. There's testicular atrophy. They will have breast development, also known as gynecomastia. And the facial hair growth will be light. And this is all due to the fact that there is a decreased level of testosterone. And I'll talk a little bit about that later. So here's a drawing of a Klinefelter syndrome male. And you will notice all the things that I mentioned. The stature is tall, usually greater than 6 feet, 6 foot 2, 6 foot 3. There is the gynecomastia that I described, testicular atrophy. Facial hair will be light, and that's represented there. And also, this diagram mentions mildly impaired IQ. So I wanted to talk about that. XXY is the chromosome finding, but you can also sometimes have XXXY, and sometimes even more X chromosomes. It just keeps on going. And each extra X chromosome is associated with a 15 point reduction in IQ. The average or mean IQ of a Klinefelter syndrome patient is about 90, and mental retardation is classified as an IQ less than 70, with varying degrees as the number decreases. Many Klinefelter patients are normal in appearance and intellect. So now let's talk about diagnosis. Of course, physical exam, where you will note the very characteristic findings as described earlier. A very important test, of course, is known as a karyotype, and that karyotype will show you the XXY chromosomes. And I will show you a karyotype. So here's that classic karyotype, but you will notice at the bottom here, instead of one X chromosome, there are two, and there is one Y chromosome. So that's what they mean by XXY. Lab findings will show an increased estrogen to testosterone ratio and that is of course responsible for a lot of those physical exam findings such as small testicles, gynecomastia, decreased facial hair growth. Testosterone level is decreased Treatment of Klinefelter involves testosterone supplementation, and this is lifelong to ensure the development of male sexual characteristics, muscle, bulk, and bone structure. Some patients will also need speech and language therapy. So let's take a look at a few clinical vignettes. You are asked to see a 15-year-old boy for behavioral problems after conducting intelligence tests you determine that he has a mild retardation. He is very tall for his age despite having parents of average height. On exam, he has wide hips, little body hair, and small testes. Which of the following findings might you also expect to see? Taking a look at these choices, abnormal development of the breasts in a male will be consistent with a patient with Klinefelter's, and that is described as gynecomastia. A buccal smear with karyotype is likely to reveal, and I hope by now you know that it is XXY. That would be choice D. The boy's parents are considering having another child. The risk of recurrence of this condition in percent is the risk of conceiving another child with Klinefelter syndrome is not increased in a subsequent pregnancy, so the likelihood would be the same as in the general population. 
A 32-year-old man and his 29-year-old wife are being evaluated for infertility. The woman's gynecologist reports that the woman had a normal anatomic and physiologic evaluation and suggests the need for assessment of potential male factors. On exam, the man is 6 foot 3 inches tall with fair skin and little facial hair. His testicles are small and firm and he has mild gynecomastia. No sperm are seen on analysis of his semen. Which of the following tests is most likely to establish the underlying cause of the infertility? There's enough clues in this vignette to deduce that this man most likely has Klinefelter syndrome. So the next test that probably will be very helpful is to do a karyotype to show that he indeed has the XXY chromosome pattern, and that would be choice A. A 20-year-old male is evaluated for persistent gynecomastia. Physical exam reveals the presence of abnormally small, firm testes. Testicular biopsy shows fibrosis and hyalinization of the seminiferous tubules. The Leydig cells are present in clumps and are hyperplastic. Chromosomal analysis shows the presence of an XXY genotype. Which of the following lab findings would be most likely in this individual? If you recall, a lot of these characteristic findings on physical exam is due to the fact that the estrogen to testosterone ratio, and that is a very important clue. So you would measure these levels, and the one that is consistent in the answer choices with Klinefelter's is a decreased testosterone level.